What's cracking? What you got? What you got? Well, today we're gonna open up some action figures, man. Nice. I was about to open this, but I'm gonna open yours. <laughs> Let's, do, Let's it. do it. Hey guys, you're watching the Best Damn Comics Show, episode 33. I am Gian Perez. With me as always, Mr. Cat Jerkon here in Studio City at DJ's Universal Comics. I got some wrestling figures here. I sold these online and the buyer didn't want to pay the extra shipping because you know, that extra pound and a half international ads. Oh, it's crazy, it's bro. A, it, and it's, a, it's not even that, it's the measurements of the, the box. Exactly. That's what gets it. Exactly, so this guy, he said, you know what? I'm gonna be displaying these figures anyway. So, oh, snap. So send them loose. So bro, we're gonna open it for you guys. Blasphemy. Yeah. Blast, oh, shit. Yeah. So he's a- uh, Dude, are, I met him before he passed, like literally, I, he, he was doing a show at the, uh, at Frankenstein's. Really? Shook his head. I was like, oh my God, I got to meet Roddy Roddy Piper. And then like a week or two later, I think he passed away. Right. It was, was nobody like, was expecting oh, it. Oh man, and yeah. he looked good. Oh shit. Got another passed away wrestler here, Jimmy Superfly oh, Snooker. Man, we got two live ones though with the Mouth of the South, South Jimmy Hart, Hart and Sergeant Slaughter, also from G.I. Joe fame, Sergeant Slaughter. Dude. You so, gonna open this? I'm getting like, I'm getting, oh, yeah. dog. Well, they're not mine anymore and I gotta ship them. I gotta ship them loose, so we might as well open them. So this- Can look, I be brutal? Yeah. No, hold on, where's my razor blade? <laughs> These are all WWE uh, Mattel Elites. Uh, they got the, the license from Jack Specific, uh, I wanna say 2010. 2011 and immediately started making uh, better figures in the jacks just by adding uh, ab crunch to their figures. Dude, you're some, an animal, bro. Some people oh, gentle, bro. <laughs> Golly, Williker. Oh shit, I just cut the box. I haven't opened a toy in years. Bro. Really? This is fucking crazy. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> When I think of pro wrestlers, man, I always feel like... Dude, I told you my philosophy about wrestling. Wrestling is the best damn show on TV. <laughs> Why, you my ass? Catch you smoking. No, I'm not. Think about it. They got good actors. They got bad actors. They got good looking people. They got ugly people. They got chicks, guys. They, they cover every aspect of, <laughs> of the of spectrum of, of a marketing you know angle. You got storylines, you got action, you got drama, you got all kinds of things, real life shit. I mean, dude, wrestling is the best show on TV, <laughs> in my opinion. They were the, they were live action superheroes yeah. before we got- oh, He doesn't come with anything, right? No, just the glasses and the hat. And uh, and his oh, and the, and the whistle. And the whistle. Yeah. Dude, he's even got a ball spar too. This is yeah, fucking man. awesome. This one had comes with a cloth. I don't actually remember this outfit on, on Superfly Snicker. I want to say, I was looking at that. When the hell did he have? This is actually a subscription line. The Matty thing? Yeah, it was a Matty collector thing. So there's a lot of these alt classic wrestlers that you can't, they're never gonna make this guy anymore because number one, Snooka has all the drama that came out after he died. Well, he, he wasn't convicted, but he allegedly murdered his, his girlfriend at the time. It happened years ago, but then with the dawn of the internet and stuff started yeah, coming cool. out that, that was brutal. You know, a lot of these guys are, you know, heavy drinking. But what do you think about the uh, comparison to to superheroes with wrestlers. Because if you think about it, they weren't costumes. The persona, I mean, look Yeah, they at, had a whole at, character. I mean, you look at Lucha Libra. I mean, those guys are crazy with their masks, you know, like Mexican right. wrestling. I mean, they, you know, it's all about a mask. Yeah. It's all about a mask. Oh, these are cool. You know, I got, I used to collect wrestling when, um, like when Jack started, like really early. Right. So I have a lot of figures, man. Well, they're, they're fun. They're definitely fun. Well, I mean, you know, you know, you knew these guys. Exactly. They were, it was, they were real. You grew up with them. Yeah, they were real. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were Ooh. real, and yo, Joe, you grew up with them. You definitely grew up with them. It, it was uh, just unique psychology that they have to get people for or against them. You know. Yeah. That's how you knew you were a bad it was, wrestler. It was good. It was good versus you, bad. If you, you know? get no, if you get no pop from the audience, with the mouth of the south. When I was a kid. The only thing you could get with those rubber ref wrestlers from Galoob. You're right. You know, they, and you'd have a guy like this. If they had the, if they had a bad pose, like if their hands were connected like this, you couldn't use them at all. You couldn't wrestle with them whatsoever because there's so only so much you do. The best ones were the ones that had their arms out in front of them. Right. Because you could actually like play with them, but the other ones, I mean, might as well have just been rubber hey, statues. Man, look, there, there's rumors of a G.I. Joe movie that's that's connected to the comic book, so hopefully they do it better now. Plus, they're talking a six-inch line of action figures. 
I miss toys. I miss toys. <laughs> I, mean, I, don't, I don't know if you ever knew me when I had, I had a shelf running around the store. Every time there was a new wave, I cracked a set, whatever it was, didn't matter. I mean, did not matter what toy it was, I cracked it open and people were like, oh my God, you opened that. I go, well, yeah, I want to fucking play with a toy. Well, you know, and uh, we got to open them and you guys got I got to, to enjoy play with I haven't opened a toy in I hope a some, minute. I, I hope somebody like watched this and like really cringed, you know. Oh, no, there, there's going to be somebody that's you know? cringing. You'll probably get a, like, what the hell's wrong with you? Right. <laughs> Comment. Let's talk some comics. Let's, let's do. Let's do some picks of the week. Oh. <laughs> All right, Kat, what do you got this week? Oh man, it's that dreaded five week split. Oh, that's right, the fifth Wednesday. So, I'm trying to pick something out of DC. I'm not literally, the, this Leviathan thing. Oh, but you know what, before we get into DC, you're Tom King's, they're pulling Tom King off of Batman. Number 85 is his last issue. No. Yeah. You no mamas, I didn't hear that. Yeah, they're not letting him finish the 100, the 100 episode. Why? I, I don't know, man. I mean, whoa, that's news. I gotta, I gotta find out. I'll have it. I'll, I'll see if I find out for you guys for next time. But this week for DC, my go-to book, Jeff Johns, Doomsday Clock. I'm loving that book. I, I'm hoping that they're gonna fix whatever problems they have. I know there's a couple of the things. There's the Leviathan special. Uh, for that, all I gotta say is two words, Mark Shaw. Actually, three words, Mark Shaw, Manhunter. So you guys chase out that uh, 70s uh, Walton Simonson book. Um, but uh, that's my, yeah, Doomsday Clock's the only thing I got from DC, man. You okay. Know. Marvel, you know, I. I could talk about Immortal Hulk 18. I mean, but that just sounds spoiler because I feel like I talk about this book every two weeks. It's the hottest book in comics it's, right now. It's and there's no there's no gimmick or nothing. It's, there, just, it's just good story. Right. Just good solid story. What I'm interested in is Star Wars 108. So they're picking up the original trilogy from the when they're ended when Marvel lost the license back in the day with 107. And Dark Horse took over. Dark Horse. They're picking up the story for that universe. I just want to see what they do with it because it was more fantasy. Right. You know, it's that line, that Star Wars, it's not the, the current run, you know. Not as dark. Not as dark, but it was more fantasy. So I'm, I'm, I was a fan of that run. So I'm, I'm looking forward to this one. Again, I could talk about Daredevil, how good that book right, is. I mean, right. that last issue was insane. And, and I'm looking forward to the fact that, I mean, we know he does matt doesn't know that he's been set up he didn't kill the guy yeah so he's going with this guilt that i'm i mean after what he pulled with the guns on punish and everything else i just want to see like once he realizes <laughs> you know but the, the stuff that i'm really really enjoying and a lot of i know a lot of people are complaining about it is the war realm storyline and mm -hmm. the tie-ins man there's some really really good stuff like last week we had this one the the strike force the the land of giants solid from Tom Taylor. I know guys are tired. I mean, people are like, should I read it, should I? Yeah, it's really good stuff, solid. Nothing blowing you out of water, just good, solid storytelling. I really love Jason Aaron's run on this and everybody else that's bringing to this War Realm storyline. All right, well, for me, uh, as for variants, I have Batman Last Night on Earth number See, one. See, I couldn't even go with that. No? I, I mean, Snyder, I'm just like so fucking tired of, <laughs> of the, between King and Snyder, I was like, oh my God, it's like, can we get a good Batman story? But but it's got a cool Jack cover. <laughs> it's got a cool Jock cover. It's open order variant. Exactly. So cover price variant, guys. And you know, people love Jock, so yeah, something to pick up, something to think about. Jock. Yeah. Uh, Hulk, Immortal Hulk number 18. There's a Battle Lines Hulkbuster. These Battle Lines books, there's a bunch of Battle Lines coming yeah. out this week. But this is like the second wave. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I know the Hulkbuster is just cool. Dude, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. there's good stuff, man. And yeah. it's on the Hulk book too, so it like makes sense it's a, to have it a little yeah. bit. Um, then we have two racial variants. We got uh, Star Wars Vader Dark Visions number four. There's a Federici one in 25. It might be one in 50. I think it's one in 25. No, it's one in 25. Okay, I just know Midtown's asking 34. They usually ask 21 for the one in 25. So uh, it's, it's a, probably a good looking book. It's a good looking cover. Federici. Uh, you guys Federici. Know some, yeah. Federici. It comes with the pizza. Yeah. <laughs> you know some of his covers. He did the, the, the Justice League dark stuff with Wonder Woman um, that, that got hot a few months ago. And then Marvel's Spider-Man at War. By In Hyukli, it's a 1 in 25 cover as well. Those it's sneaky bastards. That's fine. We finally have a ratio In Hyukli variant, and Dude, he's wearing the, the, the video game. That book is, I mean, it's good, but it's not canon, so people are not biting on it. 
I mean, it's a pretty book, really nice, good, cool covers, but they snuck in that Hinyak Lee variant at 1 to 25, and nobody's gonna order it. What's, what's Midtown asking for it? Uh, they only asked for 21. Oh, so, wow. you know, so pick it up. Pick it up on pick Midtown, yeah. Um, I don't know what happens to that book. Like Kat says, it's not part of continuity. But it's Hing Hock Lee, in Huck Lee in 1 Lee. and 25. Yeah. His first race show, I believe, Ex right? Exactly. Like, so far, I think he's only done um, open open orders, orders or qualifying, which at that point, it's an open order once right. you qualify. So, so the check out. It's a nice cover, too. Check. I mean, the, the picture's up on the screen. But anyways, guys, anything you want to add before we close to this week's episode off? I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, wrestling unboxing. Oh, we no, we need yeah. to play with more toys. Yeah. I gotta find some stuff. You know, we'll do an unboxing. I'll find one of my old boxes that I already, and we'll just go through and say, hey, look what I haven't pulled out in 20 years, you know? <laughs> but look, guys, have fun with this stuff. Get out there, read comics. Don't, don't be bitter about stuff. I mean, it's just the nature of this industry. Writers come and go. Just these characters are always gonna be here for us. And, and just support, go buy some comic books, bring a kid into the store, and I'll see you guys next Wednesday. We'll see you next time.